Welcome back to Portside with the Pilots. The men's basketball program took some time this spring break to get out in the community and make a difference. One of those stops was Cathedral School in Northwest Portland to play some hoops, sign autographs, and take questions from elementary school students. Welcome, welcome. I like the shirts. I like the purple shirts. Hi! I'm Thomas Vandermarks. Uh, I'm from Holland. That's all the way in Europe. You don't pay for your tuition. Me and this guy are brothers. Yeah. Twins, actually. Yeah, long lost. <laughs> you believe me? Thank you. Yep. Can Bobby dunk? Ooh. Prove it? Yeah. Prove, Prove it. it! Watch out, watch out! Dunk it! Oh! Oh, he's out, he's out! He's out, he's out, he's out! He's out. Did you have fun? Yes. Good, good. Sing it. Let it go. Let it go? Let it go, let it go. I know that I can't anymore. The University of Portland Student Athlete Advisory Committee kicked off their mentorship program at Roosevelt High School here in North Portland over spring break with a night of games and Q&A. The program is called SPARK, taking the idea that one connection with a positive peer mentor from UP can cause a spark in one's life. The mentorship program will be ongoing. It's a great way for UP student athletes to make a difference in the lives of high school students. the beginning of our SPARK program, um, part of our startup with Roosevelt High School. Part of our role as UP students is to be good mentors to these kids and get them excited for um, academic success. Everybody has their own experience, but like use that to the biggest advantage because we all go through the same thing on one level or another. But um, I just want to say like keep a positive mindset and always look forward and you know you don't never know what will happen or who you meet uh, who could help you in any way they can. To me the most important thing about education really is relationships and so tonight was kind of a relationship building night so it's a relationship building model to then try to provide you know a high impact network of involved students. Be engaged, be kind, and be open. We really wanted to reach out to one of the local high schools and get involved with what they're doing in their sports teams. Kind of got to know the kids out here before we come in and do more Wednesday night tutorial. The UP student athletes led uh, activities at each table and our student athletes were the ones sitting at the tables so they rotated. This is a princess! We had seven like fun activities, catchphrase, uh, rock, paper, scissor tournament, and then we had like five or six get-to-know-you activities. A really important thing for us is to just be a relatable person, to know that college is within their sights, and I think tonight was hopefully a really good jumping-off point for, uh, for them to realize. It's important to me because I want to try to provide the opportunities for that for my student-athletes, and so to have somebody they can go to or talk to or relate to or guide them in some way that I can and the teachers here can, just to have another person in their life that cares and can show them something different. Another SAC initiative is the annual St. Baldrick's event where UP students shave their heads for a good cause. All donations go directly to the St. Baldrick's Foundation, which raises money for childhood cancer research. This March, Portland men's soccer raised the most money for a team, while sophomore Dana Dominguez, who is a nursing major, raised over $4,000 all on her own. Overall, SAC raised over $18,000 for childhood cancer research. This is our, I think, fourth year, actually, of doing St. Baldrick's at the University of Portland. 
Uh, in the previous years, we've raised $13,000, $8,000, and this year we're already up to $12,000 uh, online. Uh, it's just a way for us to give back to the community, uh, raise money for children's cancer, which we believe is a great cause, and a great way to just bring the guys together and go ball together and involve the whole community. This program, St. Baldrick's for the Athletics Department, means that we have um, like a central thing to focus on each spring to raise money for. Childhood cancer affects so many children and it's different than adult cancer and so it's really important to have research specific to it. So by raising this money, it's a really good way for athletics to give back and be involved. I think it's great because we're a small school and everybody knows the athletes. To see a whole team shave their head and raise money for this, that's just amazing to bring awareness and there's nobody better to do it than people that are in the spotlight. This year, we had originally just three guys dye their hair, kind of draw some attention uh, to the event. So when people ask them about their hair, they could just say that they're doing it for St. Baldrick's. Walking to class uh, every other day, people would ask me, oh, what, what happened? Uh, did you lose a bet? No, it's uh, St. Baldrick's, you know, just uh, trying to promote it. And, you know, obviously it works. People asked and, you know, people are donating because of it. And, you know, it's off now, so. <laughs> We just love to be involved with it and to get everybody get their head shaved. It's such a fun thing to do and just the more money we can get is much appreciated and we, we love the program. Coming up on Portside with the Pilots, former Portland soccer stars return to Merlot Field. I was happy I scored for our team that uh, brought back a couple memories scoring for the Pilots.